Sexism is a monster in every race and every culture since the beginning of man. Women have been treated like objects, property to be bought and sold. In some cases, like farm animals and livestock. Now, I don't go to those websites anymore. <laughs> no, I respect women, right? How can you not? 2015, women are powerful, right? Heads of state, captains of industry, right? Presidential candidates and shit. You know what I love most about today's woman? About today's independent, liberated females? You know what I love? Jugs. <laughs> Titties, what? <laughs> You're expecting something deeper? It's not that kind of show. It's a Tuesday night. You don't get nothing deeper than that on Tuesday night. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I'm talking about, you know, no matter how many elections you win, right? Companies you own, huh? Or jobs you fire me from, you <laughs> still got them titties, ladies. <laughs> Woo! Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're sitting down there, you're looking up at me saying, so do you, you fat bastard. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. But I ain't talking about my titties. Don't nobody want to see that. Right? I'm talking about breastuses. Huh? Big juicy breastesis. Chest mounted miracles of happiness and joy, baby. Happiness and joy. Now, I don't use that word lightly. Miracles, right? I mean, granted, not capable of giving life, yet capable of sustaining and nurturing life at its most fragile, gentle, delicate state. Whether it be a newborn infant or a 32 year old stuck in a bad marriage. Fact is, if you nibble on a nipple, it'll be all right. Right? If you nibble on a nipple, it'll be all right. It don't matter what it is. It doesn't matter, right? Show me a man. Show me a man down and out, right? Down and out, weight of the world on his shoulder, going through the trials of Job, pop a tit in his mouth, cut on the ball game. All of a sudden, he's an optimist, right? He's an optimist. He was ready to die five minutes ago. Now he can't wait to see what tomorrow's going to bring. No matter what your problem, no matter what your plight, say it with me, if you nibble on a nipple, it'll be all right. Yes, yes, right? And we can all relate to that because it starts when we're babies, when we're infants, right? And you're in the crib and it's cold and dark, you kicked your covers off, the world's against you. You're wet, you got shit up the back of your onesie, right? <laughs> There's only one thing that can bring you inner peace. There's only one thing to help you make it through the night. It's if you nibble on a nipple, it'll be all right. Yes! Now I'm in your heads, right? Now I'm in your heads, man. I see some naysayers. Don't take my word for it. I'm just a comedian up here talking shit. Go ahead and take your poll. Take your Gallup poll. Right? Find 100 men with a titty in their mouth and ask them what's on their mind. Ask them. Now, excuse me, sir. Uh, we understand you lost your job today. Your wife left you and took the kids. Your nine-year-old golden retriever died for no damn reason at all. Tell us what you're thinking. Oh, who, me? I reckon I'll finish these titties off right quick, and the rest will have to work itself out. Right? You don't have to struggle, and you don't have to fight. If you nibble on a nipple, it'll be all right. Yes, take that one home with you. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna get some good advice tonight. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. And I appreciate the ladies laughing. Thank you for having a sense of humor, right? Because it's not just for men. It works for women, too. If you nibble on a nipple, it'll be all right. We got some doubters, some naysayers. I can prove it right here, right now. All right, fine, I'm gonna need all the ladies in the house. Pair up. Come on. Groups of two, expeditiously now. The guy's are looking around, is this shit going down? This guy's a fucking genius. Ain't that funny, but I follow him anyway. <laughs> no, man, thank you guys for laughing. I'm Marcus Oglesby. I am from West Virginia. Any West Virginians in the house? Yeah, all right, okay. When I come to Charlotte, there's always some West Virginia folks. That's where we go to find work. <laughs> but I tell you, I always like to close my show. I'm gonna do one more for y'all. I always like to close my show with a little bit of insight right, into the minds of comedians. We are sick, twisted people. There's no other reason to get up here and do this, right? And sometimes it's hard to make us laugh. Sometimes it's hard to tickle our funny bones, so to speak.